What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going to have an SDAO, Singularity DAO, which is down 6% at 77 cents, 100 million max supply, 74 million in circulation, and a $57 million market cap. That's extremely good setup to go into a bull market. The great thing about it, too, is we're only down 88% right now in a bear market compared to other coins that are still down 94 to 97%. So it held up a lot better during a bear in a bear market than some other coins so this kind of gives you a little bit of hopium for the bull run since it held up so good in the bear market all-time low was 14 cents two years ago this coin's currently available on kucoin and huobi and the following exchanges down here so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on sdao <laughs> Okay, everyone, let's get into SDAO. We're looking at the four hour chart here, and unfortunately, things aren't looking too hot for SDAO. I think this will be looking for some sort of pullback. You can see we had a sell signal here on the WTX right when we hit the main price volume area at 83. RSI is extremely high. MACD, I believe, just crossed, uh, just crossed bearish, I, I believe. Yeah, we just crossed bearish. You see that red candle right there? So we're just starting to cross bearish. So I'm going to be expecting somewhat of a downwards momentum for this. Uh, so it might be a good opportunity to pick some up, honestly. So right now, what we're seeing is a bounce off the 618 consolidate between the um, 618 and the 0.5. If we draw this downtrend right here, what it's kind of looking like to me, if we continue in this downtrend, is a drop down to that 382 area at around 50 cents. I think that 50 cents would be a pretty good buying opportunity, and we could get a decent sized pump off of that. That would allow the indicators to retrace, allow everything to get reset, and that psychological support of 50 cents, I believe, would hold us up really really well i mean you can see 50 cents in the past back here was a pretty um heavy support area i mean we consolidated when we were heading back down there for quite a while pretty much the entire month of june and then once we fell below it it acted as a very very heavy resistance so since we're above it it should act as a fantastic support so just to draw that across this is kind of where i would be looking to pick up some SDAO. So right here you can see it was a heavy resistance in the past but it was also a very very good support yeah, when we when we were above it. So prior to that, let's keep an eye on a drop down to 50 cents. We did have a nice V-shaped bottom right here. It's just when you have really quick run-ups like we had here, you just have to cool down a little bit. And I think this 382 area is going to be that play. And I think that's going to be a good buying opportunity. And from there, we could see a really nice move to the upside. So unfortunately, I am going to expect some sort of pullback. I mean, from here to there, that's approximately a 29% pullback. Are we going to go that low? Nobody knows, really. Um, but that is what the indicators and what the charts are kind of telling me, that there's a possibility that we could be heading down to that 382 area. And if we do head down to the 382, I might pick up a little bit just to hold on to. Now, let's look onto the day chart real quick. Day chart is actually looking bullish. So that pullback might not be as dramatic as we thought. On the day chart, you can see the MACD down here is about ready to flip bullish. Our size pretty much reset. I mean, we're at 56. We're a little bit above 50, but that's okay by me. And the WTX is at 11, so that's still okay by me. And we're above the 618. The 618 is being tested as support right now. And if it holds on the day chart, there is a possibility for that next leg up to the one, two, three, six, at around $2.25. You can see the step up pattern happening here. Each step gets larger and larger. So in the longer term, this is looking bullish. In the shorter term, I'm expecting some sort of pullback. So in the shorter term, it might not be a bad idea to pick up some and then ride that wave up to the one, two, three, six at around $2.29. I know that sounds crazy. That's a huge run. But I mean, we just ran approximately 301% in what time frame from february 1st to february 7th we ran up that 200 and some so if we ran another 200 what was this 200 and well, that was 319 if we ran another 319 um you can see 319 would actually bring us over the one two three six so i know two dollars and thirty cents two dollars and twenty five sounds crazy when we're only sitting at 77 cents but as you can see it's not impossible i mean we recently just ran so that's what i'm looking for on the day chart is a nice leg up and on the short term i'm going to look for a good buying opportunity to get in for that run and for that short term run i'm seeing either a pullback down to this 0.5 at around 62 cents if you break the 62 cents and you want to get greedy keep an eye on that 50 cents then i think the 50 cents will be the bounce point and then we'd be working on our next leg up for this coin so slight pullback and then i think we're gonna be making a very very nice large leg to the upside so with that none of this is financial advice and if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like to chat with me you can post them on my Discord or Twitter. The links are below in the description.